Welcome to Bellevue, Washington. We are here at AbSciCon 2019, Astrobiology Science Conference 2019. I've never been to an AbSciCon before, so I was excited to come check it out. And I'm actually a co-convener of a session on technosignatures or SETI or aliens later this afternoon. I'm here for one day because I'm still actually on parent leave, and so I brought my kid. Say hi, dude. So my goals today are to or to have some good conversations with people, try to keep my kid from going absolutely bonkers in a totally bizarre environment for him, and document what it's like to go to a conference with a kid. And my other hope is that by showing what it's like to bring a kid, assuming it doesn't go terribly, we can help normalize this. Okay, first update. The coffee and snack situation is excellent, and I've seen at least three strollers, so there's at least three other people here with their kids. That is a sweet poster. I don't know these people, but that's a great looking poster. I'll link to a really awesome video uh, down below that describes a new approach to making posters, which I really endorse. It's very simple, very clean, and draws the reader in. Another awesome, very simple poster. After you discuss your poster, then you move to your e-lightning poster. So uh, we'll get right started. We think this is a good first step in uh, distinguishing this false positive mechanism from a biological oxygen case. An ancient lake environment that could have been habitable to past microbial life. Almost 1.30. The whole reason I came to this conference was for this technosignature session. I'm really curious to see what the reception will be. Will it be five people in the audience or will it be a packed house? I don't know. Uh, I'm not at all familiar with the astrobiology community and how it's going to view the SETI community. So uh, it'll be very fascinating to see what the reception is like. Good crowd. It turned out to be a very diverse uh, set of uh, talks and topics and I'm very happy that we have that. So those are examples of technosignatures, things where if you see something this narrow in frequency, or conversely, if you see something this very short duration in time, we don't know of any good astrophysical examples that would, would produce that. Last year in September, NASA Technosignature Workshop, uh, which uh, was uh, charged in writing reports for NASA. I believe this is kind of a generational thing with the giggle factor that always used to come with uh, techno signatures or SETI, and it's just time to get over it. Okay, so because um, you know, let's face it, techno signatures are actually the thing the public is interested in. Trivia for the next pub quiz: You're the first flag on the moon was actually from Switzerland. <laughs> well, that was a fun day. I was really happy to see a huge turnout for the for the whole techno signature workshop. The room was almost packed. People stayed the whole time. The idea of SETI and technosignature research has kind of a complex history with the astrobiology community. So the fact that this topic has been sort of rebranded and is being taken seriously is really encouraging to those of us who are interested in it. And overall, I was very impressed by AbSciCon, and I really enjoyed the interdisciplinary aspect of it. There was chemistry, there was geology, there was biology, astronomy, of course, 100% would recommend.